Hi there, this is Lady Dreamers, and I'm doing something different today. Uh, I am doing crock pot beef stew. Now, I will show you um, some pictures of the ingredients uh, via picture um, in the upcoming uh, pictures, you could say. Um, and then... Um, I'll get back on and show you a little bit more of how you do crock pot beef stew. Now, one of the things I like about uh, the crock pot is that you can basically do, um, you know, like right here, we get big packs of chicken and beef and sausage, and then I put the date that I bought them on. Then I put them in these Ziploc freezer bags, and Ziploc not being a sponsor, but uh, anyway, I put them in the freezer right over here, and that way, if you uh, have some meat that you uh, basically have left in there for later, uh, you can put it in the crock pot, and voila, you don't have to worry about it. Also, it's a nice way of saying, is this beef? Because you get all that little um, frozen part around it. And um, also, I'm adding carrots, mushrooms, potatoes. Now, you can um, do either green beans or peas. I'm using the green beans because I used peas last night. And uh, on the crock pot, my mom likes to spray the crock pot with Pam. I like to do butter. Uh, you can do either. You can do both. That way, none of your stuff will stick. Uh, this right here is the flour. Now, if your um, stew is too thin, just uh, put a little bit of flour and water and whisk it together or use a fork and then put it in your crock pot and it will thicken it up. You can also take another potato and kind of, uh, you know, mush that up too. Uh, starch uh, helps thicken it. You can also use cornstarch. And over here are some more ingredients right here. We have um, my spice rack. Uh, I have the girls on live chat. I turned down the volume so you don't have any echo or anything. And what I like to do is I like to put um, the herbs, make my own uh, herb thing. So. I don't really like, I like the, uh, the taste of onion, but I don't really like the stringy onions. So I get a big thing of minced onion and use that when it says put in some onion. And I put the little tags on the side, basically because the name wears off. Even if you change the name of the particular thing, it wears off. Now, this is thyme. I like to put a little bit of thyme in everything. Um, and turmeric. I mainly put turmeric in because of the healthy properties that turmeric has. Celery seed. Now, um, I like to put that in. Also, you can put regular celery seed. Uh, we didn't really get any celery seed. I always put a bay leaf in all my cooking stuff. And put some salt. Put some pepper. Put some um, beef stock. Now, why I have this on top is that I like to put a can of this. And then I put a can of water. 
and then I put this. So that basically equals two uh, cans of broth without uh, spending all your money on broth and everything. Put a little Worcestershire sauce and also I like to put in some soy sauce. I always put these two together, a little bit of dab of each. Um, measurements, I don't really measure that much, but I will put a recipe with uh, some of it in there. Put red rind, put a can of diced tomatoes. Now you can use uh, plain diced tomatoes. You can use the, um, I like the onion, celery, green pepper, and sometimes that's hard to find. You find the basil, uh, garlic one, and then I have my oregano in the big container rather than this because I love putting oregano in everything. And so that is the ingredients and next video will be how I put it together. Okay. What are we filming for? Lady Jamers is doing a food Beef vlog and she's putting clips of our live stream in, in the crock pot. Oh, cool. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, hey. This is the most awkward situation. <laughs> okay. So here's the crock pot. And I'm doing the pan because let's face it, that's the easiest way to do it. And just don't spray the camera. <laughs> Make sure the squirt is down there. And like I said, just make sure that uh, you don't get it. And yes, there is fumes, and I usually close that real quick because asthma. Uh, so, we come over here. And... Now you can close it and be right back. Okay, so this Lady Jamers again, and let me get this tilted down. Here's the crock pot. Now basically, just take your meat, put it in the crock pot, as so, and. You come over here. Now I cut up the potatoes, roughly do a rough chop on them, and then you just uh, throw that in and this stuff right here. And I am going to do a spice rub. What I like to do is since I have all my spices together here, I like to put them in little bags. I uh, baby bowls. I got this. Baby bowls are perfect, even if you don't have a baby around, because literally these guys are for that ice cream, perfect uh, serving size, uh, mixing your, um, you know, your spices, uh, putting in potato chips. Lay's is perfect in here. Got Mickey, uh, veggie chips also and i'll be back in just a moment to show you more so here are all the ingredients in the pot and then here is the spice rub and i have the two little bay leaves on top you just sprinkle it in and it now this is like all solid and uh, the meat is and that will thaw out while everything is there and this way you have leftovers and everything the phone is ringing again I'm going to let mom get that and so there you go and next time I'll show you in the middle and the end. Just a little thing to tell you. Always make sure your crock pot is on. And make sure that it is closed 
properly because hey if we're going to do this we should do it right right and voila let it sit uh if you want you can put it on low for eight hours or you can put it on high for four hours and like i said i am going to basically write down uh the ingredients uh it's, I basically make my own and uh, don't really have a recipe, but we'll put a basic recipe so you can follow along. Okay, so it has been in the crock pot for hours and just if you want to see how it looks, take this part off. I am didn't hook it up to the gimbal for this little part and you can store it and see what I meant by uh, being loose like this is when you put the uh, flour mixture in and see all the the meat kind of melted and by using the frozen uh, green beans that also added some liquid to it and just store it up and put it on for more you can test it just to make sure it's the consistency you want and we are going for more this is going to be a long video when I'm done now, what I did here to make a uh, little flurry, uh, uh, you know, thickening agent is I put some of the juice and water into the little bowl, and then you get your flour and cornstarch, wonder flour, regular flour, you name it, and you take a spoon, fork, little risk. I say little risk because you know you basically if you put a big risk in it um, you know W I S K risk it will basically spill out the top and I got a fork here too now the main reason you do it here and instead of just throwing the flour in the um, crock pot is you can see it has all these little lumps and you try to blend the lumps in. Now by using the wonder flour, you don't always get as large as lumps. Um, and wonder flour is, uh, I can show you in a second. Yeah, let me bring you over here. And there's that. See, it's basically made for uh, doing what I'm doing right here. And I was thinking, now, do I want to use the Wonder Flour or do I want to use the regular flour? And since I showed you the regular flour in the beginning, I thought, ah, use the, uh, see, it does basically blend in a little bit better and then when you're finished this little mixing in you will bring this over to the crock pot which I had the lid on And you pour it in the way that you would with the uh, herbs I had earlier. And then you store it. And actually, already you can kind of see it do its action. It makes it a little bit uh, cloudy and thicker. And you don't have to keep on mixing um, and checking it, but uh, I like to.
Now, when you're done, you can just scoop it up and put it in the bowl. Okay, I like to use this little later thing. Make sure that you have some juice. And voila. Beef stew in the crock pot. Done and done. Hope you enjoyed. Hey there, this is Lady Jamers saying like, subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel. Please give a thumbs up, and if you want to see more of these videos, put a comment down in the comment sections and tell me what you thought of the video. Have a great night. See you later.